Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something like I normally would do besides the, all the vlogs I've been doing lately. But um, today I wanted to talk about Louis Vuitton quality. So this is kind of something that we talk about a lot on Instagram. I feel like there's um, a lot of new bags being bought and issues coming up. And there's also you know, a lot of people going pre-loved and why they go pre-loved and stuff like that. So I kind of just wanted to talk about it. So I pulled out some of my newer bags and some of my older bags. And I just want to show you a little bit of what's normal and what's not. And then some of the issues and my thoughts about it. <clears throat> so first off, I want to talk about um, a big one that's talked about a lot. And that would be the hardware. So I know back in the day, Louis Vuitton used to have, it was like more of a solid brass. And I'm not sure what year they started to do gold color or whatever. What was it that, I don't know how they said it on the website, but it was pretty much like, instead of calling it brass anymore, like they had called it brass. Okay, I'm gonna start that part over. Um, okay, so I used to look on the website all the time and there was a point where they had it both, they had it listed both on there. It used to only say brass, like it would say, you know, this speedy with a brass zipper, you know, whatever, probably didn't word it like that. But anyway, at one point they were switching over from being brass to the brass plated, I guess, or brass coated. And so part of the website would still say brass. And then the other part would say like gold hardware, gold color, gold tint, something like that. But the fact was that it wasn't brass anymore. And I had got on there and I talked to customer service. I did a little chat thing and I was like, well, how come this says brass and this says like coated or whatever? And they're like, oh no, it's still all brass, blah, blah, blah. Well, you would get pieces and they would chip. So it's clearly not solid because it's chipping. Um, my classic Speedy 25 is from 2004 and it is definitely still solid and it has not chipped it's just tarnished kind of you know with age but the color hasn't come off i could use brasso and i would be able to shine it back up but that color has not come off um the vintage petite no a that I, petite no a that i had solid it was not chipping as well as the tofoli tofoli gm that i had that was solid you could feel it all with how thick it was even when i had a um tullum pm that i sold to my friend um that was solid that had like the thickest like heaviest brass hardware ever like that one had amazing hard solid brass now when you get things like the delightful these don't feel like it it feels substantial but it doesn't feel like the tavoli did like the tullum did it's not thick like they used to be i feel like more of it is hollow now so i know that they're doing that to lighten the bags and probably for expense for them, but they're also raising the price so you're paying more money and you're really getting less. Okay, with that being said, people have bought a lot of these, the mini pochettes. <clears throat> Not just the mini pochettes, but they bought the new version of the um, SSR. But, okay, I know that they've discontinued and stuff, but I have the original one. I got mine in like 2006, I think. Yeah, mine's from 2006. So, What's normal is for them to come like this. The I still think that these are two different toned hardware. Uh, let's see if you can pick that up if you can see it. Um, I think that the D ring is slightly different from the um, whatever kind of clasp you would call that. I feel like it's not focusing, but I feel like it's slightly different. And that's normal, but dumb because I mean. <laughs> Why are they making the clasps beautiful and shiny and they never seem to tarnish really but the D-ring does tarnish and I don't know why they use two different kinds. Mine's still perfect obviously. I haven't had mine very long at all. But um, yeah, mine just weird that mine's the 50th week of 2017. But anyway, so yeah, they all come all pretty brassy or whatever. Now the problem that people are having is that they do this. Can you see that? Do you see how, let's see if I can get even closer, 
how the D-ring looks silver, yet the clasp still looks brass. Now, like I said, mine was from 2004 when most of the stuff was still solid, but this issue is still going on. So you have to think it's normal now. Like, I'm not saying it's okay, but that's normal now. It's normal that it's going to come off. So on my Speedy, nothing came off. It didn't rub off, but you can tell that this was just coated. This is not solid brass because it wouldn't come off. If it was solid brass, it would still look like that underneath, but it's not. It's silver but the clasp is solid because it hasn't changed colors at all. So that's definitely normal. So if you get one of these, super popular right now and apparently really hard to get, but if you get one of these, you have to realize this is gonna happen and you're not gonna be able to take it back and get a new one because it's normal. Um, it shouldn't happen as fast as it has been happening to a lot of people. I think within a few months there's has done it. I've had this one since 2004. Uh, or 2006, sorry, and it took a few years for that to happen. So normal, I would say, would be a few years. Abnormal is buying these and then happening in a few months. Not okay. If it does that, I would definitely take it back. But as you can see, this is normal and, I mean, super dark. Use this thing forever. Said it many, many times. I used to take it to the beach. I used to take it um, out drinking and stuff. So this thing has, has seen everything. <laughs> but yeah, so it's normal for it to do that. Okay, something else. So I have the Delightful PM, and as you all know, if you watch any of my videos, I had the I had bought one of these, and then inside, I think it was this piece, but it chipped because again, it's not solid brass; it's just the coated stuff. So it chipped, and it looked like crap. Um, they were very nice, and they, you know, we're gonna fix it, but. Their repairs people actually destroyed it so they ended up giving me a brand new one and I have not had a single problem since. So not normal but you need to pay attention to your inside clasps now because they are chipping. I'm not the first person I've heard of that happening to. I've actually heard a ton of it happening to is there um, these inside clasp things on different bags um, chipping. So be very careful with that. And another thing just makes me think the one that I got originally was a floor model and I don't know that just because I got it and it looked weird but they told me that it was but they said that they had just put it out hadn't been touched you know blah 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 and so, but I accepted it like that and I was like that's fine you know if you just put it out there you know it's it's fine but when I had gotten it it was like um I remember the trim was lighter and then the um the strap was already like patinaing and so you know that they were lying and that it wasn't just put out because the strap would not be patina especially as much as it was compared to the trim so anyway when I got this one it was brand new um, it was perfect so that's how they should be and you need to really pay attention to that um, a friend of mine ordered a purse recently and she just got it and it was it you know should have had these little loop things on it to keep the um, the strap thing in place whatever but hers was missing that, it had um, wrinkles where it shouldn't have wrinkles, not like if it was stored, but more so if it was messed with, you know, how sometimes they sit them on there with this little hanger thing, you could just, you could tell. So she knew it was a floor model. So you have to be aware because they will do that too. And that's not okay, especially with how much money we're spending, it's not okay. Okay, another thing, um, as everyone knows, they don't make this anymore. They don't make the Delightful. They replace the Delightful with the um, Graceful. So the bottom of the Delightful looks like this with the um, Vachetta, or Vachette, whatever, with the leather lining bottom like this. The new Graceful has a bottom that looks like my Aena. So it's kind of like this envelope-y thing. I don't know how you'd, you'd explain it. It's got the seam on the bottom, and it, but it does this little foldy thing. When you get that, you really need to pay attention because I have quite a few friends on Instagram that have DM'd me and shown me that their corners have worn, and they've worn really fast. So as soon as they told me that, they were like, isn't that the same as your Iain? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I was checking mine, and mine are still perfect. But you need to make sure when you get them that you're watching the corners because they're, they're wearing out. Um, I think that one person's cracked, the other one, it was just like, 
think she had the Damier Ben and where the checker would be, it was pretty much like it was just rubbed off. And she only had that one for like two weeks. So yeah, you definitely should not have to watch them. You, There's no reason you should ever have to watch your bag because that's ridiculous. You're spending over a grand on it. You should not have to look at it at all. You should just assume it's perfect and it's gonna stay perfect. But the reality is it's not. So if you're gonna buy one, you need to pay attention to it. That, I mean, yeah. Um, if you're gonna buy this bag, if you're gonna buy, buy the Iena, I don't know of any issues on the Damier Ben. Um, I haven't heard any issues on that one at all. But if you buy the monogram one, like I've said this many times, um, depending on which side you wear it on, I wear it on this arm, if you do not keep it zipped up. Now, if you zip it up and you carry it all the time, you're probably not gonna have a problem. But um, I do not zip mine up when I use it. Therefore, whenever I'm wearing it, the zipper opens up and it rubs against the strap right here. This has caused mine to fray. Um, I exchanged the first one because it got really bad before I noticed it. And um, so when I got my new one, I was told to put clear polish on it. I have, and unfortunately, um, I still have to keep doing it. It's kept mine where it hasn't frayed, but if I didn't know that, I would have, you know, another bag ruined. And in my opinion, that does ruin it. If your leather is fraying, I mean, how much was this? 14, I think it was 1400 before tax. I don't remember, but I think it was like $1,400. But your leather fraying, like that's shit. Like that should not happen ever. Um, besides that, I don't have any problems with this. People's have flipped up. Um, that would also be normal. That's something to look at too but I store mine with it flat and I don't have that problem. I also don't have any other issues with mine and weirdly enough, the brass on this bag, um, the lock is the shiniest lock I have ever owned. I've had this one now, we went to Texas last summer and that's when my husband bought it for me. And yeah, I mean, I know I exchanged the first one but that was within a month. So yeah, I've almost had it for a full year already and I use this one all the time and the lock has not tarnished at all. I mean, there is no tarnishing. So maybe they've upped their game a little bit with at least this bag because that is perfect. But yeah, with a lot of cases, the, I mean, this is perfect too. And I don't know if that's just because it's, you know, the circle thing, but like if you look on the speedies and stuff, mine have obviously tarnished. My 25 is super old, but um, my speedy bandolier, well, I guess my speedy bandolier is now getting up there because I got that one in 2014, but that one's tarnished too, but I mean, I still think they're beautiful. Anyway, let's continue. The next thing I wanted to talk about, oh, let's go to an SLG real quick, is wallets. Okay, so this one, do I have the year of it? No, that's just the style number. Um, I don't know. Oh, the date code. Okay, um, my husband bought this one for me in 2006. So another 2006 piece. And I use this one for 10 years. That was a very long time to use a wallet. I'm not a big wallet person. I don't switch between wallets all the time. But normal wear and tear, if you are going to use something a ton, this is, I mean, you're using it a ton. I don't mean like you've had it for months. So it is normal for the things to split. This one has splits right there you can't see it. it's not showing up very well but it has split on the side it has split right here and that's because I use mine in the way that it's meant to be used I had you know cash back here I mean you could put cash anywhere but I mean my point is I use cash change everything in here I always put cash in the back I put you know receipts right here and I put coupons in the front so that's how I use mine and yes I put change in here although mine is not dirty okay so what you can expect from these wallets what you should expect from these wallets. Now this is not always, this is just what you should expect. You should expect that they are gonna be good to go for many years. Their SLGs I feel like are made way better than their bags. So if it's your first time buying Louis Vuitton, you might just wanna start with an SLG and see what you think of it. But um, I didn't have any issues with mine until probably around eight or nine years and I wouldn't even consider it an issue. I would consider it honestly wear and tear. I would just throw mine in my bag. I did not give it a second thought. And the fact that 
there is no cracking like it might have separated from the ins like the outside the monogram has separated some from the inside along the lining but I mean that's not hindering my use of it at all because it's still the sewing is still keeping it together but even though that's happened there is no cracking on my canvas like none whatsoever it is still the canvas is still perfect and I mean I didn't do anything to keep it in good condition it just you know it just that's how they should wear so the buckle on mine is not like super shiny anymore but I wouldn't even say that it's bad because even though it's like tarnished some it's still beautiful like it's still beautiful the inside of it is perfect the only thing that's like got some chipping is just a little bit on the zipper pull but that is you know normal and I mean the zipper is still perfect so that is seriously what you can expect from this if it's if it starts to crack or anything take it in as soon as you can um, but they can't do anything about the canvas cracking if it's over a year but if it's under a year they definitely can they can give you a new one that's pretty much all they can do they can't fix the, the cracking um i did mention before that not in this video or anything but i have a pocket organizer and so does my husband and we each got one in vegas his is in the um, epi leather and his did crack his is still um i haven't done an update on his but his glazing had come off but his actual like leather part of it has cracked so and we went to vegas like two years ago that's not normal so personally if you're a man i would stay away from pocket organizers if you put them in your pocket like it says you're supposed to pocket organizer but if you sit on it and everything he uses his every day and his has cracked i put mine in um in all my bags i haven't switched out of mine actually since i got it and mine is still in absolute perfect condition the glazing is perfect and everything so um I don't know that I would go with one that has this monogram all the way around. I did go with one with a leather binding because I wanted the black on it, but also because the SA told us when we were in there buying them that if you got solid leather or solid canvas, it could crack um, on the creasing part, but apparently it can do that with Epi too. All right, so another thing is people are having problems with the brochette Matisse. And that is one of the main reasons I went with, Proenza, went with Proenza Schooler for this style of bag. I really, really, really wanted a Bichette Matisse. I wanted the regular monogram one. Obviously, I like the Empreant, but I can't afford that. I can't afford like two grand for a bag. But this one is, um, I think it, it is around $1,900. But you have to think, they have raised the price of the Pochette Matisse. Let's just talk about the canvas one and the, the regular monogram canvas one. I think it's 1980 or 1890, something like that. It's around that, but this is pretty much the exact same price, but you're getting a solid leather bag. And the thing about Proenza Schooler, which they told me at Nordstrom too, when I looked at them a while ago, that if they have any issues, you can just take it to Nordstrom and they will send it off and have it fixed for free. So hardware messes up anything like that they fix it for free and they told me it was for the life of the bag um louis vuitton's not the same way um if you own a bag over a year even less than that sometimes depending on who your essay is or how shitty they want to treat you sometimes they won't even fix it they will act like it's wear and tear and i've heard of people getting treated terrible i've gotten treated terrible but that's one of the reasons I went with this one because the Pichette Matisse has so many issues that don't seem to be, it doesn't seem like it's going to be resolved anytime soon. And I can't afford a $1,900 bag or however much it cost and it's a mess up. That's not okay. I don't want to have something that I have to open all the time and you know you're going to have to do this all the time. And this one has glazing too, but... I mean, Proenza Schooler is definitely <laughs> way better. I mean, clearly I love Louis Vuitton. Look at how many I have. But, I mean, this, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this bag a ton. I use this thing all the time. And, I mean, I'm constantly doing this to it. I'm constantly just flipping it over. I mean, I sit at my desk and work, and I always have my bag by me. And I'm always, there's something I always need. I need lip gloss. You know, I need to just put it in my drawer. But I don't. For some reason, I keep them in my bag. So, I'm always in here opening it. And just flipping it over and the glazing on this is perfect I mean I don't have I don't see any issues 
but that's why I went with this over Louis Vuitton because I don't think it's normal to own something for such a short time and that to happen. A friend of mine, um, Lisa, had a Pochette Matisse and I can't remember how long she had it. She didn't have it very long and hers cracked and hers was messed up and it ended up spending more time in repair than she owned the bag. Like, let's pretend she owned it for a month. It's, she, it's been like six months in repair. Like, they say four to six weeks for repair, sometimes six to eight weeks depending on how busy they are and the time of the year, but hers took forever. So, no. If you're into the style bag, I might, I, I mean, I would honestly say that's when I would step away from Louis Vuitton and go somewhere else because this is pretty much the exact same style. If you want the exact same size, Prone's a Schooler has a PS1 in the tiny size. This is called medium, and tiny is not actually tiny. It's not that much smaller than this one, but it is the same size, size as the Pochette Matisse. So, which I almost got that one, but I carry too much shit. That's why I want the medium. But if you're in love with the style, but you don't want monogram, because a lot of people think monogram is just too flashy. I don't, but some people do. I mean, no one knows that this is a freaking $1,900 bag and it's leather like it's not canvas the pochette does not have that much canvas on it although i love the look of the pochette matisse like i said i can't afford such an expensive bag and have it mess up but this is so much more worth it because it's solid leather you're paying pretty much the same price but you're getting solid leather not canvas the leather's not going to crack and i don't know that's just my opinion especially with something that has so many issues um Something else that I want to show you is normal uh, is the red glazing changing. So is this one dark? Some are darker than others. Um, like you can kind of see the red glazing on here. I don't know how well you can actually see that. But you can see that down here there's red glazing. Um, and obviously it used to be on here too. But it's normal for it to come off. So that's what it looks like after years and years of use. It comes off and it just turns like to a brownish. Um, again, let's see. This one is a little bit darker, I think. Can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see it. See how it's really dark down here? Um, it's gonna, it's already coming off at the top. That's normal. Like, don't, don't think that that red, it's, although it's beautiful, it's not gonna stay. And that's not a quality issue, that's just how it is. I don't know why they don't make it to where it stays. I, I don't know what it actually is, but it's super pretty. Like down here, it's still super deep. But yeah, I've used this one so much that it's pretty much come off. It's, I mean, it's not come off, but it's not bright anymore. But yeah, like I said, that's really normal. Okay, so there's one last thing that I wanna talk about. And it is um, something I was getting messages about the past few days. Someone was messaging me on one of my videos talking about, well, their first comment, I had a video of my wear and tear, one year wear and tear of my Petite Noe. And they left me a comment and it was kind of weird because I said it's beautiful but don't buy it. It's like I already own it. I don't know why you would even say that. But they started talking about how you have to moisturize your bag or it's gonna crack and it's gonna, I think, I don't remember exactly the wording of what they said, but I think they said it's gonna rot. I'll have to look back on that. But anyway, I was like, no. Okay, so first off, I have three bags right here that have the um, leather on the top. This one is, they're all patina, um, except my Delightful's not that dark, but you all know this is my favorite bag ever, so this one is getting pretty dark. Um, what they were pretty much saying, they said if you talk to any leather person, they're going to tell you that you have to moisturize your leather. You don't. I actually, personally, I don't recommend it. Um, I've been buying Louis Vuitton specifically since 2004 and I have never once treated any of my bags. Never. And I'm constantly told that people like the honey color of mine and how even it is and they're always asking me how I do it. I always say, use it and do not treat it. As you can see, the bottom of this one is spotted. 
like I mean I put it down when I have to I do what I have to but I will not treat it I'm not gonna treat it and I'm not gonna clean it and eventually it's going to be even I have not done anything to this and as you can see it is all the same color it is get my head out of there it is completely even I mean all the way around this whole thing is completely even they were saying that they have they see vintage ones and why are they always cracked and the leather is tearing I don't know that was my answer. I don't know. I feel like it's people are, um, they're not taking care of them possibly, but it's also if you treat your leather, not just treat your leather really, because I know some people say that they've used Apple Garden stuff, but how long have they been using it? Did you use it 10 years ago or have you only used it for a year? Because in my opinion, if you put anything on it, you're disrupting the, nat uh, the natural process of it of the patina like of the natural process of it aging if you put anything on it if you mess with it i feel like eventually down the road i feel like it might not look normal i don't know that's not the right word that's not i can't explain what i'm thinking but it you know if you i know some people moisturize theirs and that's just what they feel is right i wouldn't do it and i've never had one crack never and the vintage petite noe that i had i can't remember what year it was from i think it was from 2000 and it wasn't cracked and that bag had clearly never been cleaned and it was perfect and when they get older uh the more patina that they get it gets smooth so when you first get it you can tell that it's like really raw but after you've gotten oils on it and everything it gets this smooth slick feeling to it and that's where it's not going to crack nothing's going to happen to it like it's not going to crack but whenever you clean them, you're kind of drying it out. Like I wouldn't use baby wipes on it. You have to think you're cleaning a kid's ass and you want to get all the poop off. You got to clean it. So you want to get all that off. And after you clean their butt, their butt doesn't stay wet, right? Their butt gets dry as it's supposed to. I don't mean like dry, dry, but it gets dry like it's supposed to. It dries off. So if you're going to clean your bags with a baby wipe, and use that on your leather it's going to clean it but then it's gonna dry it and i get it that's why people moisturize it too but you've already done that drying process to it yeah so yeah i think that will mess it up i know this isn't really about that this is just kind of all over the place but i'm just kind of trying to show you what i think is normal and what is not normal and i think the normal process of it is for it to patina and the not normal process is it for it to crack and stuff and if you want it to be the normal way i would leave it alone yeah okay so i don't know if that made any sense but yeah that's just stuff that we've talked about a lot lately i feel like i've seen this so much on instagram and i've just it's kind of been building up in my head on what i wanted to say and what i wanted to show you and i just wanted to show you a little bit of how mine are aging and what's normal with all of it yeah i'm sorry if i didn't make any sense i tried my best but if you do have any questions or comments leave them down below and i will do my best to answer them and i will see you see you all next time bye